Hey guys, it's Belle. Welcome back to another video. Super excited to have you. In this video, I will be making bath bombs. And I tested them out, and I really hope you like them. My fifth and final video for the Love Shades Against Bullying and Suicide should be up already. If it's not, I promise it's coming soon. I'm just taking a little while to edit it. So, I'm really excited because I've tried to make bath bombs like multiple times, but this is the only time this worked out. I will make sure to tell you what not to do so that you don't have to ha go through all these struggles and failures like me. Anyway, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you try it out, let me know how it works out for you, and let's get into this video. So, you're going to need some baking soda, cornstarch, citric acid, Epsom salt, some water, essential oil of your choice, coconut oil, and food coloring. So you're gonna start off with mixing your dry ingredients first. You're gonna put one half a cup of baking soda, one fourth a cup of cornstarch, one fourth a cup of citric acid, and one fourth a cup of Epsom salt. You're gonna need a bowl to put this in and something to mix all of the ingredients up with. I used a whisk, but you could also use a spoon. In a separate small bowl, you're gonna wanna mix your wet ingredients. One and one half teaspoons of water, one fourth teaspoon or one half teaspoon of essential oil. This depends on how strong you want your bath bomb to smell. One and one fourth teaspoon of coconut oil. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and if that's not enough, for five second intervals until it's melted thoroughly, and one to two drops of food coloring. For this next step, I'd highly recommend a spray bottle. If you have a spray bottle, pour the wet ingredients in and spray evenly and then mix with a spoon or whisk. If you don't, just pour as little of the mixture as possible and mix it in. Be careful not to pour too much. If you did, it will bubble up. The mixture should not be too dry or too wet. It should kind of mix together like moon sand. But if you followed my recipe, it should all mix together nicely. As soon as you run out of wet ingredient to put in the dry ingredient, the texture should be right. Once you have your ingredients thoroughly mixed, you're going to have to put it into a mold and can be any size or shape. I use these plastic bulbs that I got from a craft store. Pack in the mixture and let them sit for 10 to 15 minutes. After you let it sit in the mold, take off one side of it so that the bath bomb has air to dry. Leave one side open for a few hours, then switch. Let your bath bomb sit for at least eight hours before using them. So I compacted some of the extra mixtures so you guys could see what uh, the bath bomb looks like dissolving. And I was a little concerned about the fact that food dye does dye skin. So I sat with my hand in the bowl for 15 minutes and I'm happy to say that it did not dye my skin green. So here's a picture of what color the water turned and um, my not dyed hand. Remember to keep your bath bombs in a Ziploc bag or somewhere where they can't get wet. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Tune into my next video and I really hope you like this. If you try it out, go ahead and send me pictures on Instagram, Twitter, and all those things. So. Love you guys. Bye.